What you guys today we're taking a look at how to fix low FPS in Windows 11 when gaming. Now if you've just upgraded to Windows 11 you may start noticing the odd frame drop where it drops down quite a bit and this is due to game DVR and it's also due to outdated graphics drivers and a bunch of other things. I'm going to show you how to resolve this quickly inside Windows 11. So you can see here inside Windows 11 in the gaming section we do have that uh, game mode area here, but we're going to be editing the registry. So make sure you back up the registry before you start making changes to it. So go to the search and type reg edit to open up the registry editor. Once the registry editor is open, you need to navigate to this location here. That is computer, H key, current user, system, and then game config store. Once you get down to this area here, you can click on it. And you should see some files on the right hand side. On the right hand side, we're looking for game DVR enabled. You should see a registry key inside here, a value data of one. We need to change this and make this zero to turn it off. Click OK. So that is the first part done. In the same directory, what we're going to be looking for is game DVR underscore FSE behavior mode. That mode there needs to be changed. So double click on this one here and we'll open this box up and drag it down here. Inside here, we're going to make this two. So put a two in here and click OK. Make sure it's in hexadecimal and that part is done. Next, we need to close this part off and go to another part of the registry, which I'll take you to right now. So now we're back to where we started. Now we need to go to H key local machine. Open this up and navigate to the location on the bottom. Go software come all the way down and we're looking for Microsoft here. Open this up. And then what we want to do here is we want to come all the way down here. It's a bit of a stretch to come down here. So come all the way down and we're looking for policy manager. Click on there and open this up and we're looking for default. Click on default and open up default. So now we need to drill all the way down to application manager here. So so scroll all the way down until we see application manager. So I'm just going to come down here. And once we find the application management, there we go. That's it there. Click on this one and we're going to open this up. So open this tab up and inside here, we're going to be looking down here for allow game DVR. On the right hand pane here, what we need to do is go over to where it says value. Double click on value and open this little box up here. We're going to change this and put a zero inside here. So delete the one and put a zero in there and click OK. Now that's done. That's that area done. So what we can do now is we can now close off all of this registry. So I'm just going to go back and close these off and go back. So it's nice and tidy when we go back in here the next time. So I'm just going to go back to what it looks like. There we go. So we can close that off and move on to the next step which is to find out whether you've got the updated drivers here. Now, if your drivers are way outdated, maybe you've uh, stopped updating your drivers. Uh, what you need to do is uninstall these and reinstall them if they're outdated. That's the way I prefer to do it. You can either use AMD Cleanup Utility, which is a free tool for AMD graphics drivers if they're outdated. And if they're really outdated, I would uninstall them and put the very latest one on rather than update. That can cause issues. You can also use Display Driver Uninstaller and you can go to their website and download this. This will actually remove um, AMD drivers and also NVIDIA drivers and you can basically remove those from your computer using that method. If you don't want to use that, you can also just install the driver if you want to. That will also remove the drivers and install the latest ones. But sometimes things can go a little bit wrong when you do that. So I prefer to uninstall them using those tools. So go to the website, whether it be NVIDIA, and download the latest drivers and then install them onto your system once you've cleaned all of the old remnants of the old drivers out. The same thing will go for AMD. You will need to download your AMD driver software and you can go to their website and download those and get the latest drivers. Hopefully with the latest drivers, that will then help resolve your issue with some of the tweaks that you've done already. Next up, go to your mouse software here. So open up your mouse software. I've got a Logitech mouse here. So I'm going to go in here and change the polling rate. The polling rate sometimes is set to the highest, and this can cause problems 
in Windows 11. Sometimes it's named report rate. And what you can do is change this inside your software. So it'll either be polling rate or report rate. Drop that down to 500 if you're having issues. If you're not having issues with this, then you can leave it at 1,000. But if you're having issues, then drop it down to 500 and hopefully that resolves your issue. So next up, what you want to do is check to make sure that you've got all of the drivers on your system. Any chipset drivers, anything like that that's missing, go over to the manufacturer's website and download all of the drivers for that motherboard, whether it be ASRock, ASUS, MSI, any of those particular types of motherboard, Gigabyte, there's loads of them out there. Go to that name of the motherboard and download all your latest drivers for that motherboard and install them on the system. Once you've done that, reboot the system and hopefully your dropped frames will be back to normal. And also stuttering, this also fixes a few stuttering issues known in Windows 11. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just to want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.